Today we are celebrating 25 years of Toy Story 1. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey howdy hey partners, if you haven't already please like and subscribe and comment and share with your friends as I am on a road to 100,000 subscribers on this channel. I'm really excited to bring to you the 25th anniversary celebration of Toy Story 1. Um, this is my original VHS that I actually found in a thrift store because the original one I had a long time ago was lost or sold in a yard sale probably. <laughs> um, but I'm really happy to have the original VHS um, from Disney and it's very old school. You used to get these giant plastic tapes, put them in a VCR, you had to wait to rewind them, and once you rewinded them, you could watch the movie, um, which is far away from the technology we have today, because now we could just stream things on our phones. But back in the day, you needed to have like hundreds of these to watch movies. <laughs> so I watched this film called Toy Story, and obviously because of this movie, now I have a YouTube channel and an amazing collection <laughs> that I share with you guys a lot. So today I wanted to honor Toy Story 1 and just share with you all the Toy Story 1 toys that I have. I'm not including Funko Pops because those are different kinds of toys to me. I'm just going to be showcasing Toy Story 1 toy collection that I have. Let's get into it. One of my favorite Toy Story 1 toys collection is this RC car. It actually came out recently. It's made by Hot Wheels. But I really like the classic design of it. Um, it just basically looks like Andy's room. That's why I don't want to open this. And then it has a little RC car in there that probably rolls really well. <laughs> but I haven't tested it because it is mint in the package. And I plan to keep RC in here. But yeah, this is one of my favorite Toy Story 1 toys that I have. The next Toy Story toy that I like is this Pizza Planet truck. Also made by Hot Wheels. This came out last year, I believe. Um, I really am happy. I don't really collect Hot Wheels, but because these cars are very iconic to the movie, especially the first film of Toy Story, I had to get this. And it has really nice details. I've never opened it, obviously, because I want to keep it mint. It even has some, like, the yo in the back and the stickers, it looks like. So it's pretty highly detailed for a tiny little Hot Wheels car. So I'm really grateful to have this in my collection. And it really, it really reminds me of the first Toy Story movie. My next favorite Toy Story, well, it's kind of like a toy. It, I got this in Japan when I was at Tokyo Disney, and it lights up. It's just the original Toy Story logo, so that's why I really love it. And it's also a necklace, so you can wear it at night around the parks. So it's a pretty cool 3D kind of print, and it, I just like that it lights up. Um, and it's also a great display piece to put next to your Toy Story collection toys. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite uh, Toy Story toys. My next favorite Toy Story toy is this awesome rocket ship. doesn't have a real working door for the prize. I wish it did. I got this at Tokyo Disneyland Japan. Um, so when I was out there, it's really cool. This cap screws off. You have this little cool alien dangling on a claw. You have been chosen. And then inside it has like the little aliens. These actually, these aliens inside I bought at the Anaheim Disney Parks in California. Because I wanted to fill it up. Um, as you see on the bottom, it's just like pictures of aliens. So you don't really get a lot of them, but I really like the way that looks. So I just said, hey, let's add some 3D ones with this one. And they all fit in here. So it looks more like uh, the Toy Story crane machine with a bunch of aliens inside of it. So this is just something that I kind of modded and did myself to make it look cooler. Um, and I think it was originally filled with candy. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, I really like this and it's really fun display piece. One of my favorite Toy Story collection. Basically I was in a thrift store and this lady was like, oh you want this eight ball? I wanted to buy it. And I said, no, I want to buy it. It's only three dollars. She's like, I was looking at it. I'm like, okay, how about we ask the Magic 8 ball? If it says I should buy it, it'll tell me yes. If it says I shouldn't buy it, it'll tell me no. So I shook it up and I'm like, should I buy this Magic 8 ball? And then it landed on, it is certain. So the store clerk got sad and I was like, sorry, I was going to let you buy it, but I really want this <laughs> for my Toy Story collection. So it's pretty cool because it functions just like the movie. It's actually one of the original ones. It's a pretty old one. Um, so that's why I like it because it's not anything fancy. It's just a simple Magic 8 Ball that works. These have been around for a very long time. So I'm really happy to have this in my Toy Story collection. 
The next item is the Barrel of Monkeys. Now, they stopped making the yellow color, I believe in the 70s or 80s, I'm not really sure. So I went on eBay and I actually bought this yellow barrel. I think it cost me a lot back then, um, 10 years ago. I think I spent like, I don't know, 70, 60 dollars for it or something. I'm not sure what they go for now, I don't know if they're more common. But these are the original Barrel of Monkeys um, from that time period. So, I, you know, obviously I like to chase things that are just like the movie. I thought that was weird in the movie that Toy Story went with a yellow barrel and that just happened to be a rare color to buy in real life and uh, it was kind of a bummer you know you couldn't really buy this in the store. Grateful to have this in my collection. Um, I think they're really cool and they look just like the movie so I'm really happy to have these. Next we have the Magic Etch-a-Sketch which is a really cool uh, toy. It's been around for many many years um, a lot of parents out there and older people probably remember this from their childhood. You draw on it, you can shake it up. Um, and yeah, this is definitely an original one that I bought about, I want to say 10 years ago. And even then it was old. So this is pretty much kept in pretty good condition considering the age of it. Uh, but I really like it and it's just like we see etch in the movie. My next favorite Toy Story piece is this hockey puck. So my friend Steven at Toy Story QC from Canada, he made this for me. Uh, he hand painted it. It was 3D printed, I believe. And it's just really, really nice. I've done a review of this on my channel, but um, I really like it. And it just it's really funny because he doesn't talk, but he reacts to Mr. Potato Head when he, Mr. Potato Head tells him, what are you looking at, you hockey puck? Next, we have this very famous... They call it Luxo Ball. It's from the Pixar Studio Store in Emeryville, California. These are very rare and expensive. Um, you can only buy these if you are at the studio store in Emeryville or get lucky like me. And I found this on an eBay auction. I asked the lady, she was selling it for $45. And I'm like, are you sure? Because these things go for hundreds of dollars. And she's like, no, I went to the studio store. I got two of them. I had an extra one. Thought a fan would enjoy it. So I just snagged it up. And yes, it's very authentic. It's, um, it is official. As you can see, it says Pixar Studio Store, Emeryville, California from Pixar Animation Studios. Um, and it has the Headstrom logo and everything's just correct on it. So I know it is an official one. Um, so I'm very lucky to have it because it's the most movie accurate size one um, and version that I feel is out there. But I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Very iconic from when Buzz Lightyear jumps off of it and falls with style for the first time in the movie. The next toy here is the Super Stun Set. It's the Shoot the Loop with the Force of Gravity, just like in the movie. This is a Red Baron Hot Wheels toy. It's very vintage, um, but they re-released it in 1995. This is the original Hot Wheels 1995 set. As you can see here, it used to cost $12.99, um, which is a very cheap price at Toys R Us. It includes one classic Red Baron car, Super Wild Loop, and Loop Action. I did use this in a live action video on my channel several times, actually. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool to see something this vintage. Um, and I was able to find this on eBay. I think I paid like 50 bucks for it. Remote control car with Buzz Lightyear and this computer car's CD-ROM. Back in the day when you put CD-ROMs in computers, which you still do, but not like back then. And it comes with this awesome Red Baron car, which is like real metal. Has the Hot Wheels logo on there. It's very, very cool. It's the exact one that Buzz Lightyear stepped on when he jumped on the loop to fall with style. This is the car he stepped on. So let's see if this Red Baron could jump the loop. And it worked! And I just dropped him on the ground. My next toy in the collection for Toy Story 1 is Lenny. He is the binoculars. Some people have put googly eyes on here, which is a cool idea. I decided to just leave it like this because from far away it kind of looks like he has eyes anyways. But he's actually a functioning binoculars. I got this on Disney on Ice for $15. I was very lucky. They go for over $100 now. This doesn't do anything. His legs don't really move. Um, but I really like him because he's pretty cool and close to movie accurate scale because Although he might be a little too big, but he's definitely the best Lenny that I've seen out on the market. So you see looking inside Lenny, it does work. There's Disney Toy Story, there's Buzz, there's Woody, and you can probably see Rex down there. <laughs> Some other toys, but it's really cool that this actually works as a functioning binoculars. 
I've seen them on eBay before, so I hope you guys are able to get one if you want to get a Lenny like this. Toy Story would not be the same without the Bucket O Soldiers that Andy has in his room. I just did a toy battle with this in Disney Parks Exclusive. Please check out that video um, in my toy battles if you haven't seen it already. But this is an awesome bucket. It's not 100% movie accurate because this one has barcodes and stuff on it. This dark color blue is more like the movie as we see in the first film. Awesome, it comes with two parachute guys, of course, so that's really neat. I've thrown these guys around many times in my other videos, and they've really lasted the test of time. My favorite soldier is Sarge because he is the one that reports to Woody, and Woody and him work together to round the troops and get the missions accomplished. So although I consider this probably the smallest Toy Story toy for Toy Story 1 collection, they're definitely larger than life and one of my favorite characters from the first film in Toy Story, the Bucket O Soldiers. Now let's get into some of the main characters of Toy Story 1. Really love RC. I'm sorry guys that Toy Story Collection RC isn't sold by Thinkway Toys anymore. You can't really find him anywhere. Um, I was lucky and bought him on eBay because I couldn't even afford him back then. He was like 70 bucks or something. 69.99, I believe. And I couldn't afford that when, uh, 10 years ago. So I remember I went on eBay later on and I saved up money because they stopped, they pulled them off the shelves and they didn't sell them anymore. So I found them on eBay used for like a hundred dollars. So yeah, I overpaid for him back then, but even a hundred dollars was a great investment because he still works. He came with a certificate of authenticity and, um, yeah, it was just, it, I was just really happy to have him to my collection. And now he goes for too much money on eBay. You know, you have the remote control. He doesn't have a turbo mode, but he goes forward and back and you can move him with this wheel. Follow me mode and he can make sounds with this horn. And the trigger actually works so he can move him that way as well. This RC is amazing. He looks just like the movie. His wheels are spiky too, which I like. He has a little spring action right there. Um, and the decals, mine are kind of dirty. The decals, I do need to clean them um, because it's been in my collection for over 10 years. But I'm just really happy. I don't store him with batteries because I don't want him to damage or get ruined. But he's a phenomenal toy. He looks just like the film to me. Um, and it just makes me happy every time I see this in my collection that I have in RC. In pretty moderate, decent shape, you know. He's not mint, mint condition, but he's definitely an amazing condition. And he goes really well with Woody and Rex and Ham and all the rest of the characters. But this is probably one of my most favorite, if I were going to pick like top 5 or top 10, this is going to be one of my favorite Toy Story toys of all time. Next we have the Toy Story Signature Collection Aliens. Um, really love these aliens. They're awesome. You know, they're, I wish they came squeaking. I obviously modded mine. But these are the official Thinkway Toys Signature Collection Aliens. And they're awesome. I, I want to army build these, honestly, just like the crane machine. I, I probably hope to own about 50 to 100 of these just because how funny would it be to like just be in a sea of these guys <laughs> like like you're in Pizza Planet in a crane machine. I kind of want to build that one day. That's kind of my one of my dreams, my crazy dreams that I have is to build the rocket ship crane machine with a bunch of these guys because these are movie accurate scale and height compared to the Toy Story collection toys. And they're also really fun and one of my favorite main characters of Toy Story 1. Next we have Disney Store exclusive ham it was originally twenty dollars it came out in 2010 after toy story 3 even though it's a toy story 1 toy um but he's a real functioning piggy bank one of the hardest hams that you can buy on the market today even back then they discontinued him pretty fast because he kept breaking upon shipping so disney store pulled it um but i was lucky to get one at disney store back in 2010 before they discontinued him um he has a slot right there he's a slotted pig <laughs> so he has a nice slot in the back and i never took it out so he actually has a real cork you can see it's very thick and it's actually very real cork material um, but i just kept the tape on there and uh, i don't really want to use it because i want to preserve this as much as i can number one he's very fragile although i did throw him once in a live action <laughs> <laughs> so 
So when I did my live action with Buzz in Spanish mode, I did throw him in the air with fishing line. But I was on carpet, I did tie him and he didn't break, so. He's very iconic from Toy Story 1 and one of my favorite characters easily from Toy Story. Next we have Slinky Dog. This actually came out last year. Um, he's been around the market for a while, but I modded him. This one was great because he has no hole on his head because the old ones used to have a pull string up there. Instead it came down here and I took it off. He has wheels so he can still roll, which is awesome. And his slink doesn't have a string anymore, so I can stretch him really far like the movie. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. And he was a huge improvement on the older Slinky Dogs that they released on the market. Now, as you all know, Jim Varney voiced Slinky Dog. He passed away and he's no longer with us. So rest in peace, Jim Varney. You were an amazing voice actor and actor. And let's have a moment of silence for Jim Varney. Another amazing character from Toy Story 1, of course, is Mr. Potato Head. Um, this is not my modern one because I'm just doing the official toys for my toys collection, but it's amazing. Thinkway Toys should have made this more. They discontinued him, you know, about 10 years ago, so you can only find him on eBay. And although he doesn't, he's not exactly movie accurate, he does, he's fun because he moves, he talks, his pieces fly off of him. and. You know, it still kind of looks like Mr. Potato Head at the end of the day. This is his angry eyes and his angry mode, which is really funny to me. Um, he looks really, really mad. So I hope you guys are able to find this in your collection. Um, they're very expensive and rare now, but if you do find one, hang on to it. They're awesome. And as you know, Don Rickles, who passed away in the last few years, um, he voiced Potato Head and he's no longer with us. So, a moment of silence for Don Rickles. You will be very missed, and you are very loved. Next is this giant character who barely fits on my camera shot. It is Toy Story Collection Rex. Cloud Pattern has a closed mouth. Signature, I notice his, out, his mouth looks open. So that's how you kind of know if this is Clouds or Signature. So I really like that he's really big, and his tail is removable, so if I need to fit him in my display case, I can do that. His arms do move. He is robotic and talks and he responds to your voice as well. But this to me is the most movie accurate Rex you can buy, which is Toy Story Collection Rex. And he just he just really does look like the film. And I'm just really grateful that they made a toy, official toy, that we can put in our display that'll be a huge homage to Toy Story Rex. Next we have 1995 Thinkway Toys Bo Peep. This came out right after the release of Toy Story 1 and it's posable with sheep. I never opened this before because it's really old now and I want to preserve it in mint condition for being a really old toy. I do love that the sheep look more movie accurate. I think Billy Goat and Gruff did look like this in Toy Story 1 with the longer faces. Um, something that I wish they would have kind of carried through when they released Bo Peep again recently last year for Toy Story 4. The original Thinkway Toys line came out with this Bo Peep and Sheep, this Rex, Posable, and this Alien. So that's pretty cool. And now it's worth over $150 on eBay, of course. But I'm really happy to have this in my original Toy Story collection. The next Bo Peep I have from Toy Story 1 is the Bo Peep lamp with Sheep that I got at Target. I think it was $34.99. Um, what's cool is this Bo Peep is removable, so I can take her off her base. I like that she looks really static. It kind of looks more like Toy Story 1 in a lot of ways. And her dress is really poofy. And you can plug it in and actually use it as a real lamp. I have done a review of this, of course, on my channel. Uh, the sheep do not come off. I'm sure you could probably cut them off if you wanted to. But this is one of the more awesome Bo Peep items I have for Toy Story 1 collection. And here we have my Thinkway Toys Bo Peep that was inspired by Toy Story 1 Bo Peep, although she looks more like Toy Story 4 Bo Peep. It's okay. Um, I really love that they released this doll, although it took them almost 25 years to release it because we just got it last year. This is a really nice dress. Um, I wish it did poof out more, I guess, like the movie, you know? And then there's a lot of people who don't like this one because it doesn't look like Toy Story 1 Bo Peep, but in my personal opinion, I really like it personally. I think they did an amazing job. Thinkway Toys really, um, they could have given us, they could have not given us at all. So I'm actually grateful for something versus nothing. Um, so I'm really happy with this Bo Peep. It's definitely the homage to Toy Story 1 Bo Peep. And 
I really love her in my collection. I think she looks amazing. And here I have my favorite Buzz Lightyear toy of all time. This is the Thinkway Toys Cloud Pattern 2009 Buzz Lightyear. Really love this one. He's my favorite one. If you guys were going to ask me what's your favorite toy in the Toy Story collection, it would be this one. If I was going to save one toy from a house fire, besides my modded toys, I would grab this one first. I really love this one. Um, he just looks really movie accurate, the proportions. And even though he's not 100% like the movie, he's an official release and from Thinkway Toys. And that's good enough for me. And I really love this Buzz Lightyear. This one goes out to all you Disney Store fans out there. <laughs> I have my Disney Store Buzz Lightyear here. I am going to collect a 1995 Buzz Lightyear eventually in a 1995 Woody. I just haven't done it yet, but that is on my list to do. But for now, this Buzz from Disney Store reminds me of 1995 Buzz. He has the whoosh action. He has the karate chop, as you guys know. Um, you know, there's limitations to his posability because of that karate chop action arm. But it doesn't bother me too much because I mostly display these toys. Yeah, I'm happy. These are probably my most favorite toys I have to dedicate for Toy Story 1 collection. When I first think of Toy Story, I think of Woody and then Buzz Lightyear second. Um, Woody's just an amazing character. You know, without him being a strong lead, I don't know if Toy Story would have been as successful, you know, with that Woody and Buzz duo. But this is my 2009 Cloud Pattern Woody from Thinkway Toys. No mods, it's just how it comes from the Toy Factory. I'm always going to preserve it in this condition because it's very, you know, it brings me a lot of feels because it's my first Toy Story toy I ever got. Um, and he has real jeans, real denim. They don't make it like this anymore, unfortunately. And he's really held up over time, even though I have used him for live actions, done some light play with him for throwing him around. He's never ever failed me as a toy. And he still works really well. And his jeans are actually looking better with time as they fade a little bit. It looks actually more like the movie. So I'm really happy to have this Thinkway Toys Woody. And for all you Disney Store fans out there, here is a Disney Store Woody. Um, pretty goofy looking, more cartoony, but he's still a fun toy. I use him a lot for my live actions. When you ever you see Woody getting thrown in my live action scenes, it's usually this one. He does fit on the, I had another Woody collection stand. He did fit on it, barely, but he fits enough. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun Woody to have. Um, when I think of Toy Story 1, the first film, you know, these are the first toys I think of. I think of Thinkway Toys, Toy Story Collection Woody, and Disney Store Woody. And a lot of you guys have this one out there, so yeah, happy toy collecting if you guys are going for Toy Story 1 Woody and you just want the toys how they come from the factory. These are your best options right now. And last but not least, look who decided to show up. It is 1995 promotional Woody Frito-Lay. He's so big he doesn't fit in my shot. He's four foot tall and you guys know about him. And he's from 1995 <laughs> to promote Toy Story, the original film. So I really like him in my collection. He's very rare, expensive, and huge. When I think of Toy Story 1, I think of 1995 and all the characters that meant a lot to us growing up and continue to mean a lot to us. And these are definitely not all of my toys, but my favorite Toy Story 1 toys collection. And thank you for watching this video and sharing this experience with me. I hope you really got a kick out of seeing all the Toy Story 1 toys that I find are my favorites in my collection. Um, some of these are pretty close to the movie, but some of them are far from the movie. But for me, at the end of the day, I love collecting Toy Story because the movie means a lot to me personally, and I'm glad I can share this joy with all of you guys, to all the other fans out there. So happy 25 years to Toy Story. We made it to 25 years. I cannot believe it. Um, you know, I hope I'm still around for the 50th anniversary. Probably not around for the 100th anniversary, but this is really fun to share with you guys. Um, go ahead, watch Toy Story. If you have a VHS player, watch it on VHS. Get that nostalgia in today. It's been 25 years. Let's enjoy Toy Story 1 today. And thank you for liking, for subscribing, for commenting and sharing my videos with your friends. I just want to remind you guys out there to remember, if you work hard, never give up. 
follow your dreams, put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. I'll see you guys in the next video review. I'll see you partners later on the next video review.